Hi guys, welcome back to Pineapple Brains YouTube channel. So today we are going to make the reloading guns, and we make the gun reloading. What should we do first? And we are going to make the item first. So let's move on to item types and create a new Uzi. So we are making a weapon Uzi gun, and call it Uzi. And here default quantity and mass quantity. And let's set it into Uzi is about 30 and about 30. So now the default quantity and the max quantity are the same. And we could tune the distance between unit and item here. And about something like this. So afterwards we are going to make some of the variables and attributes. But first go to the weapons we could change some of the setting first here we are going to go to the variables part in the general what should we add we could add this is can be reloaded by pressing out so this gun have a variable that we could reload by pressing key out and we're going to make another thing in the attribute so it is a reload timer reload timer so the default value is 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 zero yeah zero and the max value range we could set it to 10 and the regenerate speed is minus 1 so it won't be show so just leave it there and we got a reload timer and the default value is 0 the value range is 0 to 10 and the regeneration speed is minus 1 so we got attribute oh no what is this so just Okay, this item will not fire projectile, we just click it yes first and we create the projectile separately here and here there's two types we could choose constant speed and collider object. So ammo usually not a collider object to be honest. So we could simply simply choose the constant speed and I will choose the yellow bullet for the Uzi gun. So this is Uzi bullet, and here we could tune the life spin shorter and the size just changed it. So I'm not gonna change it here, and um, go back to the item type and choose the Uzi that we have just made. And here, projectile type, we could choose and give this projectile to this gun. So we allocated this projectile for the gun and we click save. Afterwards, go to the end. This unit, this guy, that having the. We, we need to test later, so I give this default item for him. So this unit has the item which has ammo. So we go to the script. What script we need to make? And this is press out to reload the gun. So this script will will reload the gun. What trigger? Just pressing the key out. So we make an if else then system action. So here comparison type. What comparison? We need to check our variable of the item is it true or not so just leave it boolean comparison and check the first true and here function we select entity variable what entity variable is it so the variable is can be reloaded by pressing out of who of the last ability of casting unit no no it is um, it is an uh, item, not the unit.
It is the item currently held by the unit, but not the variable of the unit itself. So it is item currently held by unit, held by the unit last ability custom unit here. So it is if it can be below that which is about an item which is holding by the last ability custom unit, if it is true, what? to do to reload the gun. Reload the gun, we need to set uh, well, no 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 the quantity quantity. We need to update the item quantity. Update what item? Item currently held holding held by the last ability casting unit. What is that? So which is Update item held by last ability casting unit. So we need to reload. Just change it to zero first, and and then we need to set entity attribute. Here, set entity value. Remember, we got a reload timer. So the value of reload timer of what of the item item. What item is it? Item currently held by last ability casting unit. Last ability casting unit. And the max value of it is 10. We could type 10 here or just max quant entity attribute max of reloading timer of item that currently held by last ability casting unit. So we got two method. So one is manual input and set 10 max value which is more sim simple or we could use the function entity attribute max which is maximum value of reload timer of item held by last ability casting unit. So we need to set the reload timer and the reload timer will all will automatically decrease since it got a value of regeneration speed of negative 1. So we need to make a new script to trigger this. So it is reloading the gun after the timer expire. So it is an item attribute. If when an item attribute becomes zero, let's let's see if the item is reloadable first. If true, which is an entity variable function inside function function entity variable and sorry for too fast and here variable can be reloaded by pressing out if it what is it. It is an item. Now it is not um, the item held by last ability cutting unit anymore since we are triggered it by a script when a uh, timer is expired and trigger it. So it is last triggering item and can be re can be reloaded by pressing out of triggering item is true. So it is true. Then we would do something like update item quantity. Update what item? Just triggering item since just triggering item. And we could make the max and item quantity. Max quantity of triggering item. So it is simply we finish that, that the whole below process. When an item attribute becomes zero or less, just after reloading it. So we would update its item quantity. And here we could add some floating text or fading text or something else like that. So to show that we are loading to the players that playing the game. Set fading text of which unit. So it is 
press out to reload the gun script so it is triggered by our key binding and it is last ability casting unit as reloading and dot 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 dot, dot. and in the white color so press ok so we can simply copy this and place it here place so this script is triggered by an item attribute so we need to set say the text of owner of triggering item owner of triggering item as reloaded after reload just reloaded the gun in white color so we simply we have already finished that both of the scripts which is about to reload. Now we go back to environment and find out the unit that could use those gun or the gun. And go to controls where key bindings is here. And we are going to add a new binding. When we press R, the ability carded on key down. We will want the script reload. Press R to reload the gun. So the unit press out and reload the gun and now we're going to test it out so we publish the game and play the game and let's wait for a bit let's wait for a while and refreshing so it is entering something so after we ended the game we got a UZ and with 30 ammo let's use them all so we got zero when we press R, reloading, and it is reloaded after a few seconds, and we use it again for ten ammo left and reload again. We could reload it normally again. So we can reload the gun successfully in this tutorial. So if you like this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. So let's see in the next tutorial. Bye bye.